Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Christian and welcome back to another RF Online Play Park video. We are now back in the Proto Nexus server and this is the Bellato Union. So for today's video, I'm going, gonna share to you some tips that will be very helpful, especially for beginners or new players. And also if you're a returning player and you're trying to feel out the game again, this is the video for you. So let's get on with the first tip. I noticed that here in RF Online Play Park, a lot of people are asking questions about is there an event, when is the maintenance, and if there are rewards, etc. So basically RF Online Play Park has a Facebook page and they always update. So just type it down on your Facebook application, RF Online Play Park is it's there, and I'll also post a link in the description. So just like the page and just read the posts there, they always update. Basically here in Proto Nexus server, it's a speed server, it will last until mid-August and eventually it will be merged to desolation server and if your character is at least level 55 like this it will be um included in the merge and i think it's kind of easy to reach level 55 so i just made this account maybe 10 days ago and just play it okay it's going to level eventually um that's about it for the first tip. Just read, follow their Facebook page, everything is there. Next up, we will talk about the usage of the chat box here or the chat screen. So if you look at my left, I have here my chat box and it's enlarged. Press T on your keyboard and you can actually make it bigger or smaller, right? So the reason why I like it that big is because if it's small like this as soon as someone spams a message or you're not looking here you might miss important information so at least try to make it bigger and if you don't want it this big because it obstructs your view don't put it like this i just like it this way um I, so i can see every information and i won't have to back read every now and then so let's go now to the options on your chat screen just press this small button here and you can choose to turn on or off different kinds of chat i actually don't turn on transport scramble and monster message because they're kind of useless everything else i think is important especially system message says everything here is important so that's about it and next up it's how to use the radar here correctly if you go to your upper right of the screen there's a radar and basically you can see everything around you especially if there are players of other races and monsters also so it's very helpful so that you won't get backstabbed or get attacked in your blind spot so it's good to zoom it out like press this minus button here so your view range is wide All right so here I will know that there are a lot of people behind me because it's there in the radar it just needs some time to get used to but if you get used to it it's very helpful so make sure to use your radar and last up some players right um, when they are pressing H on your keyboard you switch from mouse mode and keyboard mode and some accidentally click the tilde key the the one that looks like a wiggly dash on the left part of the key of one right and if you press it all of the names of the other players 
is gone except for yours so maybe some are asking where are all, all your names you accidentally pressed H to go to mouse mode and then the tilde key so just press it again and the name goes back there all right and then last one it's how uh, to for example take a good screenshot of your character without the names or any of the text just hold alt key and H all right so there you get a nice cinematic view of your character and if you want to take a good picture of the view all right and if you want to go back just press alt again and h all right, that's about it for the controls and the one at the bottom here running or walking very simple and manual and auto attack i think this is very important right if you want your character to keep attacking and you won't need to press the space bar every now and then and also the peace mode and combat mode it's because you can't use your boosters spell or skill if you're in battle mode right you need to switch here so that's it and there's a lock button here you can change the password of your fire guard all right and this is actually the same with the T button here and some other options about skills force here's your bag and in-game options press O and here I like to put my lighting up because I like the animations and the lights when you're using a skill so that's just me some people don't want the lighting but I like it so that's it for this video if you have some other tips that can help other players just comment them down and if you guys like the video don't forget to drop a like if you have questions just ask them i'll try to answer them and as always subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet because i always upload videos about rf online play park with that said my name's christian and see you next time bye bye